Hello and welcome to the first ever Lovecast. I'm your host Love, and on Lovecast we're going to get you pumped and prepared for Anime Boston, or just conventions in general. Just this time, Anime Boston. But really, two weeks? It's not just upcoming, it's right there on the door, knocking, saying, hey, let give me cookies. Now before we really get into this, before I really pump you up and get you excited for some events and guests, there are a few changes to the policies and how we're going into the convention center. So sit tight, I'm going to go through this as painlessly as possible. Now I will have links in the description so you can check it out in full, but here is the full rundown. Now Heinz has a new policy for everyone entering. It doesn't matter if you were just in there and you went out to grab a bite to eat. Everyone is going to get their bag checked. It's a quick, painless check. We want to make sure there's nothing suspicious. You know, it's from the Boston Marathon thing probably. And this is done at Disneyland and other crowded places that have a lot of people going in and out. As long as you're being smart about what you have in your bag or, you know, it's mostly just bags. In fact, it's only bags. Just be smart about it, okay? Okay. I trust you. Now, this next part is for cosplayers only. If your costume has a prop that is a weapon of some kind, guns, swords, whips, anything like that, you must go to security every day to get it checked. It's very possible that when they piece bind with zip ties, the colors might be different to indicate whether or not you've been to them yet. So remember to check in every day. It's on the first floor of the Heinz before you hit the escalators. You take a left down the main hall before you hit those. Okay? It's very easy, it's painless, they might even be interested, and if you get rejected and you don't want to go back to your hotel room, they will hold on to it. But do not use that as a code check, it is no guarantee that someone will see it go, Hey, that's pretty cool, let me take it and claim it. Hey, <laughs> Okay? Security check. Do it if you have a weapon prop. Now those are the main policy changes. If you purchased your badge already, you know, you're pre-registered, you have a printout, which you do not have to print out, it just makes things easier. You can show up on Thursday and pick up your badge, your programming, your schedule, everything a day before everything starts, which is really handy. You can't do it if you didn't buy one already, but if you did, you don't have to be on the line on Fridays to pick everything up. Neat, right? Now that we've got policy and pre reg stuff aside and cleared up, let's go into some exciting stuff. Not programming. I know some people love their panels, but we won't know that for another week at least. We might not even find that until the week of the convention, you know, because they have to sort everything out. Now, what I'm talking about is guests. Now, if there's a lot of voice actors. I think a good amount of them are working on sword art online. And aside from that, there's Nabashin who did Excel Saga, The Wallflower, you know, stuff like that. There's also some directors and a fashion designer, IBI. They worked on Visual K stuff and they're mixing, their newest fashion line is mixing post and gothic into ghost. Interesting, right? Now let's talk about a couple of the guests that I'm really, really, really super excited for. Two of the three music guests are ones that I have loved for years. Like, you know, Ghost in the Shell and Cowboy Bebop, Wolf's Rain. Oh my god, yes! Okay, so I'm just gonna flat out say it. One of them is Origa. You know, the one that sang most of the music that you'd hear and recognize from Ghost in the Shell. Recently she did some of the soundtrack in Final Fantasy XIII 2. <laughs> okay, squealing aside, I loved her music. I listened to it all the time during work, 
you know, around school. I don't know how how to explain how excited I am for this. You haven't heard her as much as you used to, you know? But this... Ah! Okay, okay, the other musical guest that I'm really excited for. Ready? Raj Ramaya. Does it sound familiar? No? How about the seatbelts? That would sound familiar if you were familiar with... Cowboy Bebop. They did a lot of the soundtrack, if not all of it. You know, Ask DNA? He sung that. You might not remember... Note the... You know, notice the song that is called Cosmic Dare, Pretty with a Pistol. Not by the title, but you'd recognize it if you heard it. He wrote the lyrics for that. And he is coming to Anime Boston. Do you know what music guests usually do? Concerts. And, you know, aside from doing this indie band, I'm really excited because I want to hear stuff like that again. This is the whole th same thing that I was with Origa. I listen to them for all the time. I still listen to the seatbelt stuff. Okay? That music is excellent. Okay, so guess that I'm super excited for aside. That's not all I'm excited for. I'm excited for the events. Now, I mentioned earlier how the programming won't be released for a while now. Well, that doesn't mean we don't know what's going to play, you know. Video is still unknown, but there's... Anime Boston has what is called cosplay events. They have a plot for these events, even. Now, you don't see that in most or any other convention. Now, you know, you have cosplay chess, you have the dating games, death matches, family feud, even. And you'll have those games, sure. But across that, you'll have this little story that has callbacks to previous years, but it also gives you something new. Something that usually ties in with Anime Boston's theme. Now you can figure out what the plot was the previous years right on Anime Boston's site. Just go under cosplay, and you'll be able to read up on everything that's happened before, which is not necessary. And we don't know the schedule officially yet, but on Friday you can expect the death match, where you'll choose there'll be two groups or two characters going up against each other, and popularity chooses who wins, who survives. And usually, well, last year was the first time, but it's hosted by Seto Kaiba. Yep, who needs those? You know, we got money, we got entertainment. Yeah? Yeah. Aside from that, though, later, you know, past 8 p.m. when 18 plus events can happen, you get the dating game. This one, you know, for 18 plus, you need an ID to get in. You know, to prove that you're not some kid, not some teenager, you know, other than 18 and 19. But go in, you get to hear a lot of filthy humor. Innuendo, you know, stuff like that. It's the basics for a dating game that doesn't have to worry about being family friendly. And people will go on, they're in character. It's a bunch of laughs, it's another bit that will reveal the plot for the year. And then you go away laughing. If it's anything like last year, it's going to be in the main audience, the event hall, where you'll see Saturday's masquerade. Just check your schedule for, to be sure. Last year they filled up, okay? I was a volunteer last year, so I couldn't really take part in last, you know. <coughs> yeah. So I was volunteering, I was helping with seating, and they filled up. They filled up a lot. We have the at least three sections for this big hall, okay? And you have the main part that has a real good view of the stage and the screens that will have a bigger view for everyone to see. And you know, those are considered the premium seats. That's easily 300 people, right? 
then you'll have the section behind it, you know, behind the main doors that you'll enter in. And we filled up maybe a third of that. That's a lot compared to previous years. Now, somewhere either on Friday or Saturday will be the cosplay family feud. It's like normal family feud, except cosplayers that signed up before. You know, their deadline was right on May 1st, so these are pre-selected. And they're in character trying to win the game. You know, it's simple. And I'm not sure if it's on Friday or Saturday, as I said. I don't know if they did it last year. Last year, the death match was new. So this might be a new one for this year. But check it out. You know, it's fun like Family Feud. You get to laugh. You get to jeer at everyone. It's probably going to be fun. I'm going to check it out, even if I'm not in it. You know, I might be a volunteer seating everyone again. Which is fun, actually. You play music when you're getting seated. And it's a bunch of fun. But, okay, aside from that, let's keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. Gotta get pumped. Okay, Saturday. Saturday, yes. Now, Saturday is gonna have the main dating game. This one is probably gonna be noon or 3 p.m. You know, it's for when anyone can get in. It's family friendly, so there's no raunchy jokes, no filthy humor, no dick jokes. Unfortunately, you don't get to listen to Can You Stick It In My Ass? You know, the song that you take it in the ass. And I can't sing, and I'm not trying. Okay. But that's the all ages dating game. Similar to the 18 plus, except clean. And that might be the only thing, as I said before, Family Feud might be on Saturday. It's all going to be earlier, so they don't usually conflict with the masquerade, the AMV screening. Which you should also attend. There's some good AMVs. You get to vote. You get to see who wins. You know, after the masquerade, if you stick around. I think. Yeah, they do. Because around noon, they do the second AMV screening for the rest of the voters. Okay. And now, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. I promise I won't do that again. Sunday is one event and the wrap up of the cosplay plot, also known as cosplot. Here is where you do cosplay checks. It's in main events again, where you'll see the musical guests, the 18 plus dating game, masquerade. And there you will see people play out chess, not to be winning but to fill out a certain amount of time for everyone's entertainment. So if you're a little OCD and you want to see skilled players, this is kind of skilled. They have to work it out in a way that'll last for a certain amount of time. But it's mostly to see different characters clash up against each other, see the plot wrap up, and maybe even some cheating. You know, ch actual cheating and not just scripted cheating where you press a big old easy button reference to that script. You're probably also going to see a few screenwrecks because either someone misread, misplaced the person, or if one of the chess pieces forgot which is left and which is right. It happens, right? Yeah. But it is so much fun. Even just watch because we take, we know, we do audience participation. You might even get free swag. Last year we gave out toys for free, you know. Instead, we don't do t-shirts, we do toys that are for promotional purposes. Last year was Monsuno. Monsuno. Yeah, this year, who knows, it might be Monsuno again. Lord knows how many there were left last year. Okay. <laughs> Let's get past the event. <laughs> now we did guests, we did policy changes, 
you do cosplay events. Now, I told you on Thursday's Badge Pickup, but before all of that, all of that, you need to be prepared. Oh, you better pack some certain things. And if you're not sure of what to pack, I'm going to give you a quick rundown right this moment. Now, this isn't what you have in your everyday bag. This is for if you're going to a hotel, if you're staying overnight, and, you know, if you're going in from the tea or something, or driving in or then, just remember to shower every day. But for you people, you people going into the hotel, staying in overnight, staying up late, waking up early, pack some shower gel or soap. Shower every night. Maybe even every morning, too. Because you get that con funk, and it just melts up. Like, we don't really have the huge gaming rooms. We have gaming rooms. But not these huge ones that are in, like, Otakon. We save the big stuff for, you know, dealers and artist alley. But you get those smelly otaku, and they just bottle up, and you're trying to wade through them. Right? I'm going to stop that voice, I'm sorry. But anyway, <clears throat> trying to wade through that is going through a visible stink lines like you you see the cartoons and they're stinky or the sims even if they're stinky enough to see these green waves they're yellow because the smelly otaku and other congoers forget to shower or they'll shower one morning they go to bed they're like eh, I'm too tired they wake up and they're in the rush to hurry up to their event to some programming, to a guest, to get their autograph signed by Greg Ayres, and they forget to shower. And when you forget to shower, people like me have to smell it. I shower nights. I got shampoo that smells great like strawberries or raspberries. This year it's pomegranate. And I'd rather smell that than your stinky thumb. And all those people, thousands of people, and if say about 2,000 do not remember to shower, you are going to smell it. You are going to rub up against it. Okay? So when we're packing, you're going to remember shower gel or soap, something that doesn't irritate you. You're going to remember shampoo because sweat is on the scalp. You will smell it. And you better get all those other areas with your shower gel. Like, ugh. After that, you're going to deodorize. You're going to brush your teeth. You're going to use mouthwash. Okay? You are going to smell better than the spice. The old spice guy. That is how you get the ladies. You practice good hygiene. Now, aside from that, <clears throat> I'm sorry about that tirade, but aside from that, you're going to want a first aid kit, you know, just in case of blisters, you brush up against something and you get cut. So you're going to want a first aid thing, just for yourself, in case the, you can't find the first aid station. You're going to want to remember to pack an extra change of clothes, not just for the basic few days that you're there. But another one, just in case. And you're not going to sleep in the clothes that you wore all day. Don't. Trust me. Okay? Aside from that, you're going to want to remember charging gear. For your phone. For your batteries. For your DS, your PS Vita, your... Anything. Anything electronic. Your tablet. Or even if you're planning on bringing your whole computer. A laptop to your hotel room. Okay, just remember to get the stuff to charge it or else you're going to have dead weight once it's out. All in all, it's really a good idea to make a 
a checklist of everything you need. Something for your everyday bag, your ID, your money, you know, cash and credit cards. Because not everyone does credit cards or sometimes something happens to it. It's just easier to have cash as well as a substitute. But aside from that, you're going to want to remember your phone. People have forgotten it, okay? I wouldn't be saying it unless it happens. But make a checklist for all these things. Look over it. Print it out. Make several rows of tick boxes. That way you have for when you're initially packing to go to Anime Boston, making sure you have everything once you're there. Then when you're packing up on Sunday evening or Monday morning, so people check out on Mondays, make sure it's all there. And, you know, have all your ducks into a row. Now with your pass money, there's going to be even more to have. You are going to remember, want to remember to bring stuff to the store that we made you, because it is going to get a little ruffled up on your transportation or while you're wearing it. You know, say you're living in the same costume for all the days. First of all, remember to spray something to clean it up, spritz it with Febreze if you're not allergic. And, you know, remember stuff like that. Products to restyle the hair, whether it's a wig or your real hair. Wig caps if you're wearing wigs, trust me. And if you're, you have contacts in, I know some people go into that much detail. Remember you have liquid for cleaning the drops, you know, cleaning the contacts, and eye drops just in case your eyes go super dry. And when you're walking around in your costume, remember to bring a case. Okay? You don't want to end up having really dry eyes, having to take them out because it's bothering you, and not having anything to put in it. Because then you'd have to throw it out or hold them in your hand until you get back to your hotel room or even just hold it all day and that's not fun and you're supposed to have fun have fun be smart bring eye drops bring remember to carry your lens case around and you're gonna want to remember to have your own small sewing you know your own little repair kit now while the Masquerade HQ, usually on the second floor of the Heinz, ha they have a cosplay repair station which will have safety pins, needles, thread, hot glue, double-sided tape just in case you have something falling down. You're going to want to have something yourself just in case. And you know, it, a medicine bottle that is rather small can fit this, you're going to want maybe five safety you're going to want to remember the bobby and wig pins if you're using any of those. You're going to want a couple of needles, some thread already threaded onto it, or just a bobbin of thread. Bobbins are rather small, they're easy to fit in if you lay them flat onto the medicine bottle. And you carry that around in your bag, it doesn't pick up anything, right? Just look at it. It's one of those basic little medicine bottles, and then, bam, you got it. You got something, just in case your costume falls or you need to rip in your pants. That might actually be a good reason to have it, even if you're not cosplaying. Anyway, just remember you have all these things packed up. The checklist is important. Of course, people miss things. We are human. The human factor, the error, natural error. Think sometimes you slip your mind. And not all is lost. Now here's the great thing about why it's lost. There is a Shaw's in walking distance. No matter which of the hotels you're in, the Marriott or the Sheridan, if you go down a little slip south you know it's across from the marriott by the walkway over the street instead of going over that you're going to go down the stairs in the hines and you're going to make a left when you exit and right across there is shaw's now shaw's is your basic grocery superstore it's going to have food 
if you didn't remember to get food or if you don't want to pay too much. This is just your average city price grocery store. You're going to get fresh food. You're going to get some fruit, veggies, maybe even instant coffee if you need it. There's also a Dunkin' Donuts in there. This one has no line compared to the Dunkin' Donuts that is right, at, in, right next to the Heinz inside the mall. You're going to be able to get to personal effects. Like whether you're a woman and suddenly there is an emergency or you have a stain, you can go to the laundry area and get a bleach pen. Yeah, some a detergent pen. I know there's both. You can pick up some emergency things for, you know, your first aid. If you forgot shampoo, your lens cleaner, as I mentioned earlier. If you need that, they do sell it. And snacks in general, drinks, everything. It is your basic, basic well, grocery store, and it's a good way to get cheaper food spend less get more they also have fresh food fresh food and right at, next to the deli they'll have some stuff already made some desserts if you need it you know because some people need that pick me up yeah so remember even if you forget something there is some place right nearby for you to jog over to and pick it up which is another reason why you should remember your credit card and money and with that, we're ready to wrap up. Now we went through all of the basics, but I'm willing to answer other questions and comments, you know, as another attendee who's gone for almost 10 years now. I can't do anything as staff. I can't pre-approve weapons or anything like that, but I am able to answer some basics that if you're not familiar with conventions, I will answer them for you. Or if anything else, I will be there all three days. Not sure what I'll be dressed as, but I am volunteering, so you might see me around helping out. Remember, don't think if I remember that costume. But anyway, links in the description for the weapon and entry policies that are in effect this year. And have a good time. 